What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today's video is going to be another video in my mini maintenance and mod series. Um, we've already done a couple maintenance and mods up to this point and today we're going to be doing another modification to the car. Um, this is something that I am actually looking forward to um, just because modifications are cooler than doing maintenance stuff, let's be honest. Um, this might be a questionable modification for some of you, like some of you might not agree with this or want to do this to your own car, but obviously if you're here, you might be looking into doing it to your own, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. And what we're gonna be doing today is actually gonna be a wiper delete for the rear of the car. I don't use the rear wipers on any of my cars that are like hatchbacks or station wagons that have rear wipers, and I'm just not a big fan of it. I don't ever use it. I don't like the fact that the back of the car can be a little dirty and you use the rear wiper one day and it just like clears out this one path, but the rest of the car looks like crap, so. Um, I just don't use my rear wiper ever. I never on any vehicle of my own have I ever used it. So I'm gonna take it off of this car because I don't use it and I don't wanna have to deal with it being back there, braking, things like that. There's washer fluid that runs to the back of this car for the wiper and it's a potential hose that could leak inside of the car. So I just I just don't wanna deal with it. So we're gonna delete it today. Um, the uh, part that we're using is gonna be this URO wiper delete kit. Um, I will drop a link in the description to this video on this actual part where I ordered it from. And all that comes in the box is a plug with a like retaining ring that goes on the back of it that goes through the glass on the back of this car and blocks off where the wiper um, motor shaft stuck through. And then there's a little O-ring in the kit to kind of seal this plug itself to the glass. So I'm gonna go through showing you guys how to remove the things we have to take off in order to get the wiper motor off. We're gonna remove the wiper motor and then get this uh, wiper delete plug installed. So let's get to it. All right, so at the back of the car, Removing this rear wiper arm in order to get the rear wiper motor removed. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to lift up on this um, cover here. This cover actually covers the windshield squirter or the um, washer fluid squirter that squirts the fluid onto the wind, uh, rear window for this car. This is like the deflector that deflects it back. Um, you can see here that that squirter actually just comes through the actual shaft of the wiper motor itself. So the first thing we're going to do after getting this cover undone is we're going to loosen this nut right here. I've already loosened mine, just experimenting with sizes and things like that. This is a 13 millimeter nut. Now, in order to get this wiper arm off, you're going to need something to pull it off with because it's actually press fit onto the shaft of this car. Um, Normally you would use a wiper arm puller. I have one somewhere, but I can't find it right now. So I'm going to improvise with a separate tool that kind of works the same way or has the same style as the wiper arm puller that you're supposed to use for this. I will put a picture here in the video of what you should be using. And then a link in the description as well for that tool if you want to purchase it yourself in order to be able to do this. You can also... I. I want to say rent it from tool stores locally, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, so I'm going to get this nut um, backed off. It tells you to back it off to a couple turns just so that you have room for this arm to pop off but not come flying off once it breaks loose. And then it also tells you to make sure that you put a socket here on the end of this so you're not pressing on the end of this shaft with the tool that presses it off, you wanna be pressing on the nut. So I'm gonna drop a 10 millimeter quarter inch drive socket over top of this. Um, washer fluid uh, dispenser, and then we're gonna get our tool put in here, we're gonna get this arm popped off. All right, so I wanted to let you guys know, prior to trying to get all this stuff apart, I squirted some PV blaster down, I took the nut off all the way and squirted some PV blaster down along the threads from both the top here and from underneath and let it sit for about five or 10 minutes. So let it work in there and try to break up any rust. Um, and then I took this nut, backed it off a couple turns to the point where it there was space between it and the wiper arm, so the wiper arm doesn't just come flying off if it pops loose, like it gets tension on it and breaks loose, it doesn't just fly off on you. And then I took this tool, which is kind of like the wiper arm tool, that's just like a U-shaped tool, that there's a cutout here for it to go around the wiper arm. This is the same thing that the wiper arm puller is. This is just a front end service tool that I have. So I took this and I put it behind my wiper arm behind the far back part of it, the smaller part of the base closest to the glass. And then again, don't forget, we got to put a 10 millimeter socket over top of the shaft so that we're not pushing on the actual shaft itself. With this tool, we're going to push on the nut itself. So I put that on there like that, drop this down behind here, and then tighten that down and it pulled my wiper arm up off of the shaft. So now my wiper arm is loose on there and we can pull my wiper arm off the rest of the way and remove our wiper arm. So now that we got our wiper arm off, 
we're gonna go inside the car. I'm gonna pop the hatch and I'm gonna show you guys the stuff that's gotta come off inside in order to get to the wiper motor so we can remove the wiper motor. All right, so with our hatch popped open, we're gonna have to remove this uh, trim panel down here. Our wiper motor is actually located right in this area right here. Um, we have to take this back trim panel off in order to get to it in order to remove it. That's a pretty simple process. Um, there's two T30 screws right here. You can see that I've already loosened mine. So you remove these two T30 screws out of here and set them off to the side. And then this trim panel right here, all the way around, it comes down and stops right here. There's like a seam right here in it. And then it goes all the way across back to the other side. That trim panel has to be popped off. It has a bunch of retaining clips along the edge of it. Kind of like a door panel if you've ever removed a door panel on a car, but we're they're just retaining clips to hold this in place. So we're going to get this popped off and that will get us access to our wiper motor here. All right, so we got our trim panel popped off there. Um, as you saw, I just got a pry tool. This is the tool that I use in order to pry those off. Um, you can use a flat blade screwdriver. I just prefer to use this because the edges of it are real thin and can get behind panels real easily without potentially scratching things. And then you can also use it after the fact to pop these clips back out of the body if they get stuck in the body instead of coming with the door panel because this actually fits behind them and pops them out. Um, so now that we got our panel off, we have access to our rear wiper motor. Now. All that's left to do, we gotta pull our washer fluid hose line off here and undo these 10 millimeter bolts. There's one, two, three 10 millimeter bolts. Undo our plug connection here. This plug connection has got a little locking tab on it that you press in and pull out. And then take those 10 millimeter bolts out and our washer fluid line and pull our, our wiper motor out. So I'm gonna get this pulled out and then we're gonna move on to putting our plug back in place. All right, so we got our wiper motor pulled out, like I said. Uh, washer fluid hose goes there, goes through the pump shaft, um, three 10 millimeter bolts to come out. I just put this back together so it wouldn't be a bunch of random parts laying around my garage. Um, once you get that out, you have to pull this rubber grommet out of the glass. It just goes through the hole where the wiper arm came through. It just has like a slot in it that the glass sits in. One side kind of pushes through to the inside of the car and this is the outside part of it. So just pull that out. Once you do that, we're going to take our, grom or our plug delete kit and we're going to lower our hatch down. We're going to drop this um, black side of it down from the outside in. And then we are going to screw our little metal sleeve up. This metal sleeve right here is actually separate. It's like our nut that holds this in place. And then inside the car, above that little metal nut, you make sure you put this big rubber grommet in there. And that just acts as a seal to keep water and stuff out. And then underneath this um, black guy here, there is another rubber o-ring on there that seals it to the glass on the outside. Uh, one other thing that I wanted to point out to you guys while you got it apart and you got it all out is clean off this area of your glass where your grommet is because it's going to be super dirty. You might as well clean it off while you got it out. Ignore the fact that the rest of my car is dirty. I drive it every day. So I'm going to get this plug popped back in here. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like completed. All right, so we got our delete plug wound it all up there and we're done with this job. So I just, again, like I said, dropped that plate, that little plug through there, tightened our little um, like retaining nut on the other side, making sure that our O-ring was on top to keep it sealed against the glass. Um, you might need help depending on how long your arms are to reach this. I had to end up reaching it from like the side of the window with the hatch halfway down to hold the plug in place while I turn the, um, the nut back. Uh, tighten the nut up in order to hold it in place. Um, don't go crazy with this. Don't try grabbing with this, this with a pair of channel locks or anything because you have to remember that you are pinching this between the glass. So you might run the risk of breaking the glass if you try to tighten it down too much. Just snug it up by hand and you should be okay. Um, I also wanted to point out to you guys, just to keep yourself from having issues down the road if you accidentally hit the rear windshield wiper squirter um, and 
this hose now is not attached to anything, so it could end up dumping into your car. Um, I just stuck a bolt in the end of this. The This is an M6 bolt. Uh, the threads on it, it's tight enough going into there that I actually have to thread it in there with like a socket and a ratchet. So you're actually screwing it into the rubber hose, so it should seal pretty good. I've done this before on other things and not had a problem with it not sealing. So we got that sealed off. I zip tied it off to the wiring harness over here, and then I also zip tied my plug connection off to this other part of this wiring harness just so they don't rattle against the plastic that would normally go here. Because obviously before they were held in place where they were mounted, but now they're just going to be free-floating and you don't want them rattling around and bouncing off the stuff and causing any noise. So we are done with this job. I'm going to get this... Um, trim panel put back up here and get the two screws put back in it and we'll be finished with everything. All right, so got our trim piece put back in, job's all wrapped up, happy with the result. I really like that it cleans with the back of the car and takes something off of here that I don't use. And, you know, obviously the wiper arm being there, if the blade's torn or anything like that and you accidentally hit it, you could potentially scratch the glass. I just wanted to remove something that could potentially cause problems that I don't see any benefit in for myself so if you guys have any questions about this job or this uh, modification uh, please comment down below be sure to answer any questions you guys have um, i would really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and i'll see you later